Okay, so in this video, I will be taking you through the, the SAP SD process to work on invoices in S4 HANA. Firstly, we will be looking at the order to invoice process from end to end. We'll be discussing the different billing types that's used by S4 HANA. Then I'll show you how to create an invoice, how to print the invoice, and then in one of the new apps, the fewer apps to manage invoices. So if you look at the SAP, sales and distribution process from end to end you will see there's a pre-sales phase then the order processing then shipping and billing in this video we'll be looking at the billing step which is the final step in sd but just to take you through the whole process you'll see in pre-sales you can have inquiries um, that you can then create a quotation for you can also have contracts quantity or value contracts in place that you can use to create orders and also a scheduling agreement where a fixed quantity and date is specified by the customer which is then used to create sales orders when does the order processing side is done you move into the shipping phase where you do the physical picking of of your product where a delivery is created then you go through the warehouse process where the picking will happen picking and packaging you can group deliveries into a shipment that you put on a truck on a specific truck that you send to on a route for example to different customers or to a customer when this process is done you do the goods issue where the stock then leaves your premises and also according to sap then the stock has left your system as soon as you've done your delivery documents and the goods issue you can create a billing document a bread document is a, a collective name that's used for invoices usually invoice debit note credit note and so on you will then see the billing document interfaces to accounts receivable where the postings are done to the various GL accounts and the finance process kicks in just to touch on the different billing types you will see that the, the billing type is basically used to control the billing document and you can set up different billing types to cater for different billing transactions in S4 HANA. Uh, on the right hand side you'll see we've got delivery related invoices which means the billing document is based on a delivery document that has been goods issued or you can also create a billing document or an invoice based on your sales order so you've got these two types that you can work with um, on the left hand side you'll see the billing types the, these are just examples the normal invoice that you can look at a uh, performer invoice that you can set up that you can create based on your sales order if you want to have a billing type for cash sales credit or debit memos customer returns um, even for intercompany billing this is specific billing type and then cancellations so firstly let's look at creating billing documents in this case, I want to use VF04, um, create billing documents. If you want to look at the app ID, let me show you. There's the, the classic VF01 transaction. In here, there's a few important fields that you can look at. Billing date, uh, billing from and to date, which is very important. That you can run your list of billing documents to be processed for specific dates. You can also look at your billing types which we just discussed and there's a whole list that's configured in s4 hana you've got the standard f2 invoices um, pro forma and so on so there's, there's quite a list that you can there's the intercompany the, the iv iv2 that you can look at and so on but in this case i'm going to leave it blank you can even do it for specific deliveries or sales orders the next important field I would say is the sales organization. You can do this by sales org. In this case, we're using 1710. Then you can do it by distribution channel division, even shipping point and specific sold parties. So the criteria is, is there for you to use. We just spoke about the delivery related versus order related billing documents. This is this selected by default. In this case, we're only going to look at deliveries that's been goods issued to create your billing documents. You can also select order related to look at, um, let's say, service orders. 
we you don't have a delivery that uh, the use the order then to create your invoice another one that is used quite often is the intercompany billing if that's set up with this intercompany billing within your sap setup you can select this option and you can also look at specific pod statuses for now i'm just gonna display the billing list and then you've got the option to deselect all of these and again there's a lot of info here is the sales org billing date sold to party there's the name of the sold to party the billing type that we just spoke about there's your delivery number uh, the 8000 is delivery numbers that you can look at address and the location of the sold to party in this case i'm going to select this specific delivery for bike pros now you've got the option to actually run a simulation for the creation or you can create the individual billing document directly or you can create collective billing documents um, let's say for instance you want to do it for all the bike pro invoices or deliveries then you select all three and if your system is set up to cater for collective billing documents then you select this option in this case i'm just going to run the normal simulation there we go the simulation is there for you to look at to see that you're happy with your document you can look at the different um, details here we go there's there's your information around this item that you can work through if you want to and if you're happy you will see that the delivery number is populated here by default and you save there we go there's the the invoice number that was just created now let's return to the main screen if you are tired of slow internet speeds and frustrating online ads ruining your online experience then i have the solution for you stereo vpn with stereo vpn you get a one-time payment solution with no hidden fees and unlimited free access to the premium edition no ads no interruption just pure seamless browsing and streaming this cutting edge technology will supercharge your internet connection speed so you can get things done faster and enjoy buffer free streaming stereo vpn follows a strict no lock policy ensuring your digital footprint stays yours and yours alone with the one click global connection feature you can effortlessly connect to servers around the world no more sudden vpn connection switch offs stereo vpn premium edition has a kill switch function that activates during such emergencies the tunnel is instantly closed ensuring that all of the user's data will remain encrypted until the vpn connection is recovered say goodbye to monthly subscriptions and hello to uninterrupted online freedom visit the link specified below to get stereo vpn today i want to change the billing document you see this number is populated automatically the, the billing doc number click and continue there we go so in here you can then go into into the document you can go to the header uh, the header partner the output details let's go to header there we go um, you can look at the header conditions there's your pricing setup your your price and so on let's go back one now you can, you can print this document let's go to display output request so the output condition record is activated and you can display the document there's your invoice so you can actually download it as a pdf or you select print it will print to your local or network printer okay so lastly let's go to manage billing documents this is an app that has been developed for you to to look at your billing documents again you've got various fields here that you can you can run it by billing document number billing type like we showed earlier 
sold to party specific customers and you can also adapt filters and add more fields there's a whole list of fields here that you can use created by um, currency and so on in this case I'm just gonna run go it will list all the billing documents in here you can also add in settings you can add more fields to your output to look at specific information like clearing status created on and it will be added to your output so there's the clearing status and created on you can also select your billing document here and directly go into change billing document which will take you then to VEF0 to the transaction that we just discussed. Okay, thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe.